Crosby, I work for Telstra. My role is to run technology strategy and innovation for the company. I'm Steve Coster. I'm a principal at Hassel and I'm also the leader of our workplace design and commercial buildings um, client sector at Hassel internationally. Thanks for coming today and talking to us. I'm really interested to hear your views on the technology and smart buildings today. We've talked much in the past about buildings and technology and how, they can, how we can design smart buildings. I very much focus on intelligent buildings and the technology. Um, you've got some really strong views on how people pick, uh, make a smart building. I think for me, it's not about putting a bunch of intelligent systems into a building with the bricks and mortar and suddenly it just becomes a smart building, especially when those systems don't talk to each other. I think my view of a smart building is that it's where the building is intelligent, it's aware of its inhabitants, it's aware of what the, the needs are of the people in the building, it adapts to them and the workplaces evolve depending on the time of day, the needs of the group that are currently inhabiting a space or even that the systems are capable of making decisions without us realising. So the ability to walk into a meeting room and have it just start the meeting for you as the host arrives or to realise that there are patterns and trends in how people use spaces and automatically adapt things like air conditioning and lighting and so on. Intelligent buildings is one of those terms that has come to mean very different things to different people. Um, at Hassel, what we're particularly interested in is not just intelligent buildings, but emotionally intelligent buildings. What we would like to see is buildings that go beyond that and actually start to think about how people feel what motivates and interests people and engages them, and how to create environments that let people um, be, be more effective people. Is there anything you wouldn't want to see in buildings in the next 20 years? What would you not want a smart building to look like? What you wouldn't want to see in a smart building 20 years from now would be a building that's um, too slow, that's too structured and um, too... Um, creates too many separations between people. Um, in other words, what people will want in 20 years time are buildings that let them operate at the real speed of business without the building getting in the way. Um, some of that's about buildings, technology, uh, technological systems, mm -hmm. and not, not having those things create barriers to doing business. But others of it is just about the, the, the physical spaces themselves and allowing people to work with each other more easily. If you get the core out the way, get the security out the way and yep. let people get to each other when they need to get to each other and find each other and come across one another and talk to each other and have ideas together, that's what buildings should do in the future. I think people's work styles ultimately are going to change fairly dramatically over the next 20 years. We're seeing a steady increase of remote working, we're seeing much more capacity, much more uh, mobile connectivity arranging for people to work wherever they choose to work. So quite often. People now can choose to work in a cafe, work from home, work on a, a customer site, client site, and have the same kind of experiences they have as when they're in the office, connected to enterprise systems, connected to messaging, connected to video conferencing. 